All right, guys. Well, here is the wreckage of my life here in, uh, on this gorgeous day in the end times. And that would be here in the paradise of the Green Mountains, where on this gorgeous summer Thursday, Thursday, July 18th, 2019, the little dog and I have uh, reached the end of our welcome yet another, yet another spot in the end times. This is the wreckage I have made out of my bedroom since arriving at my sister's. Uh, back on the road again, so here I am. Gee, here I am packing up my shit again. Imagine that, a hand by a little tail. Packing up his shit. Wondering what I am going to leave behind by mistake this time. So this is your old depressed collapsitarian. Your old depressed collapsitarian just bringing another another uh, adventure in the wasteland to a close and what an exciting time it has been and uh, what an exciting time it has been here in the end times in paradise so the we are so fuck sign has appeared so that's good news I never know where that we are so fuck sign gets to. My God, guys, fuck do I even start? It just, it, it, this shit just never ends. It just never ends. Oh, I still have a bar of ham bone palm oil free lavender soap. Okay. So, uh, yep, your old depressed collapsitarian just going, going through the latest wreckage here in my life as I, uh, what do you call this, uh, what do you, what do you call my life anymore? We're gonna, we're gonna call my life a never-ending series of crises management. Yes, this is called crisis management, otherwise known as Hambone's life. Oh, God. Speaking of crisis, the, the little dog did have a successful BM last night, so I guess all is not lost here in the end times. My dog, my crippled dog, did have a bowel movement, so I've got something to celebrate today, and unbelievably, my, uh, my computer has managed to stay together through the, uh, throughout the day, and, is un and unbelievably is still alive. I'm attempting to send a, this giant file to uh, Brazil right now. Good God, this poor little computer. So anyway, guys, this is just your old depressed collapsitarian Luddite. And, and I'm just going to tell the story of what happened with this computer. For anyone who is interested in Hambone's computer problems, and I'm just curious, guys. I, I mean, I am simply curious. I want to know. I, 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 I want to hear from you Luddites. I'm not, not you Luddites. You uh, computer geeks, exactly what the fuck is going on here. So, what happened is the, a little backstory. You might remember that I had two computers, two identical computers when I left 
uh, when I left Austin, Texas on May 13th. Identical computers where you can just interchange the hard drives. Okay, so what happened just a few days after I started this trip is my backup computer, my old computer, which is now like five years old and even it's a refurb. Uh, these are Dell Latitude E6510s, by the way. Uh, so anyway, my old computer, my five-year-old computer, uh, died. It, what, what happened was it just would not start. It would not start the startup repair. We could not get going. I t when I was in New York, I took, the, uh, I, I took the computer to two different computer repair shops in the Catskills. Two different geeks looked at this old hard drive and they told me, sorry brother, the hard drive is dead. I had two geeks tell me to throw the hard drive and the whole computer in the garbage. But fortunately, I just stashed the computer under my seat and uh, went on down the road with my new computer, which has always been a piece of shit uh, since the day I bought it. Uh, this computer has been a piece of shit, but it limped along for a few weeks until yesterday. And so what happened yesterday is... Uh, when I say my computer crashed, I mean my computer crashed. I had it on a, on a little coffee table about 18 inches off the ground and uh, I was moving some furniture around actually. A hammock is what it was and I had my back turned and somehow the, the edge of the hammock caught up under the corner of the coffee table and when I picked up the hammock to hang it off of its hook it flipped the entire fucking coffee table over including my computer uh, which was in the process of uh, putting on my rant yesterday you know about the collapse of global industrial civilization so anyway the, com the computer smashes to the ground and guess what? It will not start. The goddamn computer will not start. Imagine that. What a surprise. Hambone's computer not starting. And uh, so I have no computer now. So I've, I've gone from two computers to no computers. <coughs> I go into this absolute freak out. I call the computer repair guy here in Barrie, Vermont. And uh, so he tells me to bring it in. $90 an hour. 90 bucks an hour is what he charges. <coughs> so I take the computer, you know, the one that just went kaput on me, and I take it to him. And this guy, he pops out the hard drive and he barely looks at it. I mean, barely, I mean, barely pays any attention to the, uh, the hard drive and pronounces, this is my new computer, and pronounces it dead on arrival. He's, he literally popped it out, took a look, said, you're just like the other Geeks told me about my other computer hard drive. You're fucked. Your hard drive is fucked. Goodbye. Say goodbye to any data on this hard drive. And thank God, uh, Jay down there in Brazil had uh, had backup copies of uh, all of, that. I had sent him backup copies of all of my Collapse Chronicles videos or I would really be fucked. So anyway, uh, he says goodbye to all, any and all data on that hard drive. You will never 
open this hard drive again. You are fucked. Goodbye. No charge. And then, of course, he, you know, trying to sell me a new computer is what it was all about. He wanted me to buy a new computer, obviously. Uh, the man wanted me to buy a new computer. So, uh... Anywho, then I remember my old computer. You know, that two geeks had uh, declared, two different geeks had declared dead in the garbage, throw away in the garbage dead. Uh, and it sent me out the door, if you recall. So I go out and get the old computer the old dead computer and I bring it in and I tell the guy that the hard drive is identical to that, 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 that in the two computers the hard drive is identical and the guy is going so you've got two dead hard drives and, and I said well I don't know if I do or not and he's like what are you talking about buddy uh, of, of course you had you know you just told me that two other uh, so two other geeks had uh, told me the hard drive was dead. And this guy, without even looking at the hard drive, was agreeing with him. And I said, well, buddy, the least we can do, uh, we have nothing to lose by trading out the hard drives. You know, putting the old dead hard drive into the new dead computer. And he's just rolling his eyes at me. And just, you know, to shut me up, to prove how smart he was and, and how fucked I was, he, he goes, what the hell? So he loads up this old dead hard drive that would not start in the other computer. He pops it in my, uh, the new computer, okay? And uh, just looks at me like, you know, just, he was really an arrogant fucker. And uh, so guess what? I pushed start. It fired right up. The old hard drive uh, fired right up. And I, and I want someone to explain that. Uh, that once again, I have been saved by some sort of guardian angel looking out for me. I have no idea why these guardian angels keep looking out for me. It really is a mystery of mysteries why the guardian angels still do. So that's what I am using. I am using the old hard drive. Uh which two geeks have said is dead and gone. That is what Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles are now depending on, uh, is this dead, this dead hard drive. Uh, so anywho's, that's where we are with all of that. Uh, that is where we are with all of that. And, of course, the computer geek, you know, he's saying, Brother, uh, you, 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 you don't think you're not fucked. That uh, this hard drive, you know, every time you uh, open up your computer, this thing's going to die. That it's on its last legs. But anyway... Uh, my new computer has been ordered. My new computer is on order, and I want to once again send out a huge thank you to uh, my new angel. We'll just call him Archangel J. Archangel J uh, has taken care of Hambone. So my newest computer, which is also identical to the other two, I'm getting a new e Dell Latitude E6510. So now I will have three of these computers instead of two. And uh, 
hopefully. Wish me luck that uh, they will be here next week. So that is that. Uh, that is the sad story, but I really want to hear you, uh, Computer Geek's opinion of why did the, the, the two Computer Geeks tell me that hard drive was fucked when, in fact, the hard drive was not fucked. Well, it is fucked, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, it is saving my ass right now. And, th and this is just the latest example uh, you, you know, just the latest catastrophe that is, that, that's what my life has become. It's, it's just going from one fucking bumbling catastrophe to the next. You know, putting up a fucking hammock, stringing a hammock up on a hook. You know, we, we're, we're just completely fucked. This is what, uh, you know, just what, what our lives are. They're just, just this never-ending fucking uh, string of, of crisis management. You know, it's, uh, what's that Dorothy Parker quote? It's not one damn thing after another. It's the same damn thing over and over and over again. It's just living life. It's just being human. Being a, a, a fucking klutzy Luddite human. Uh, just bumbling through life. You know? And, and, I, and I'm just sick and tired of it. I'm, I'm sick and tired of the whole fucking mess. But anyway, I got to wrap up this little whine, this little depressed collapsitarian whine, and uh, get my shit and pack up my gas-sucking truck. I am back to uh, to uh, the acupuncturist is where I'm heading now. For, this, for my second acupuncture treatment as my whole fucking right arm. I mean, I'm, I'm, it, my, my right arm is halfway paralyzed. So I'm taking this goddamn whatever that thing is, that nasty looking thing, is heading to the surgeon on Monday morning. Hopefully I uh, will be getting sliced and diced on, uh, on Monday get this damn thing cut off my arm because, because it, it's just fucked. Everything is just fucked. It's just fucked. God damn it. I'm smashing my foot. Anyway, speaking of fucked, there you go, little dog. It looks like you're packed up and ready to go on your next adventure. It's all just a day in the life for Sancho Panza. This thing is, Bop, it's just fucking life. Deal with it. Bye, guys.